Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Today's card is one I'm making from scratch. I've had the request from some of you to actually stamp in front of you, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm using the BFF Best Friends Forever stamp set, and I've got some soft suede here. And this is all like, I haven't designed this card yet, so bear with me. I'm gonna stamp, I just want one in the background here. And you can see I just use my um, card base as my area to stamp on, which is probably silly, but it works. And now I'm gonna take my second piece here, or my second one, and I'm just going to, so all my stamped off pieces just go on my card front, stamp it there, because it's all gonna get covered up, it's all good. Okay, and then I think, the only thing I've done is I pre-sponged. I cut a couple of pieces and sponged them, but I'm not really sure how it's all going together yet. I've got a decorative label here, and I've just um, sponged the edges in the soft suede and did some polka dots there in the um, Best Friends Forever stamp set. And the only thing I did pre-do is I stamped the C is for congrats, and that's from the Occasions alphabet. Punched it out with the um, postage, and then I cut a one and a quarter inch square there for the um, um, background. So I'm just gonna snail that on. Okay. And again, this is all impromptu, so I hope you like it. I hope I like it. Okay, so that's done. Now I've taken a um, one and a three quarter inch circle there, and I'm just going to stamp a heart in full intensity in the soft suede and you can see that I have sponged the edges of that as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my card. I'm just gonna snail my backing on. Now I need to make about 15 of these cards. They're for some of my downline. So I just wanted to make it something easy and reproducible, but elegant. Um, after I've got my front on here, I'm gonna come back to my soft suede and I'm just going to sponge the edge of my card ever so gently. Sometimes I like to just, you know, feather it down at about a 45 degree angle, and other times I'll rub it against the card. And you can see when I use the back of my card, I stamped off a little bit there, but it matches fairly close to what my image is, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna leave it, and I'm gonna sponge the edge of this. And again, I want the blue and the vanilla to get inked up there. So I'll just go all the way around. I'm happy with that. Okay, and now to figure out, I think I'm going to just apply some snail here to that partial decorative label. And I'm gonna line it up with my one and three quarter inch circle. Okay, and now let's put that on with dimensionals. Big fan of dimensionals especially on a card that doesn't have too, too much in terms of embellishments. Peel those off. Okay, and we'll attach that. Hey, I'll put it kind of, there we go, at the bottom of the um, that stamp. That kind of worked out perfectly. Again, totally impromptu. All right, and now I'm gonna attach this, yeah, I think to there. So I'll put one dimensional in the bottom corner and again, I hope this doesn't video doesn't seem too choppy and that you don't like it, but I just wanted to show you how I create. I haven't made one of these cards yet. This is all kind of a in Heather thinking mode. Okay, I'm gonna put that on there. And then I guess my last step, and I was gonna use some of these beautiful little pearls, the basic pearl ge uh, gems. And of course, I have no nails to put these on with. Okay, how about maybe one pearl there, and maybe a little pearl, good luck with that, here we go, on the heart. <laughs> I'll get my pokey doodle, there we go, to put those on. Here we are, and I'll stick that down, just a little extra bling, and I think that will be my card. So I hope you had fun watching how I make a card from start to finish. Again, very impromptu, a little rusty, the video, but I just wanted to show you how I think as I make a card. Thanks for much watching, and I'll see you again soon.